New information from North Glen Police tonight shows both of the boys killed in a backyard this weekend were armed. Police say one boy had a machete while the other had a handgun. Police say the two broke down a fence to get into the backyard. This is of a home on Pearl Street south of the intersection of 120th Avenue and Washington Street. This police response came from a report of trespassing and menacing. When officers arrived, they say they found items believed to be from a separate incident, specifically a burglary in that yard. One of the boys exchanged gunfire with someone who lived in the home. Both boys were shot and both died at the hospital. Noel Brennan talked with one of the boys' mothers today. Noel? Kim, family identified one of those boys as 16-year-old Ishmael Cordova. I met his mom, uncle, and one of his sisters late this afternoon. Christina Cordova found out she'd lost her son on Monday morning. The pain of that kind of loss is still incredibly raw. It wasn't a bad kid. He was just making a dumb decision. And now he's gone. Christina says Ishmael was in the 11th grade at Hidden Lake High School in Westminster. He leaves behind four sisters and two little brothers. Family says they haven't heard many details from the police about the shooting on Sunday. They only know what's been reported on the news. Christina says she did not know police recovered weapons from the backyard where her son was shot. She and the rest of her family don't believe Ishmael or his friend deserved what happened. What they were doing in his yard by his house is not right. But that's not the right way to handle it. I want people to know, you know, who, him for who he was. You know, he was a student, a big brother, an athlete. He loved to spend time with his siblings and his family. And, you know, we just want to get him to rest and, and the other boy too because they're just kids. The name of the other boy who died has not been released, and police have not said which of those boys fired in that exchange of gunfire. Police say they believe this incident was connected to a separate burglary. Police say they found some stolen items, including an airsoft gun, in the backyard of that home where the boys were shot. Kim and Alex? Mm. Ever since uh, we learned these were teenagers, I mean, we have a lot of questions, and of course the homeowner has a story too, so a lot to investigate. Absolutely, it's a difficult story every side that you look at it from. Yeah, it's Thank a tough you, one.